people now send me this stuff so frequently that it's really difficult to keep up with. But this one leapt off the page because <laughs> it's CNN, right? So, you know, these people have real money to spend on real reporters who are meant to investigate things. And what do they come up with? This 13-year-old scientist, well, I don't really think there were any 13-year-old scientists, may have designed a better version of the Hyperloop from Francesca Street and CNN. And look, there's an awesome, awesome picture, an engineering sketch of for what this new improved Hyperloop is going to look like, which is um, the something? CNN. Several rival companies may be hard at work trying to get Elon Musk's Hyperloop concept off the ground, but are hurtling across the country, maybe even across continents. They can't even get it to hurtle to the end of the block, and they certainly can't get it to carry people at 600 miles per hour in low-pressure steel tubes. Uh, it still feels far from reality. Remember the steel tubes thing, that's going to come back in a second. But the 13-year-old New York student Caroline Couchley may have invented a more economically viable and eco-friendly Hyperloop solution. <sighs> Really? You don't think you might be overselling this? A 13-year-old has come up with something that that wasn't... Oh, anyway, Couchley's idea just won second place in the annual 3M Young Scientists Challenge to build pneumatic tubes next to existing tracks. Right? So, uh, yeah, one of the best uh, plans that you ever have with a railway... It's the land issue. The land rights are a big problem. So building things on parallel lines is actually a sensible enough idea, but building pneumatic tubes next to regular tracks for what purpose? Magnetic shuttles would travel through these vacuum tubes. Okay, so that would be the hyperloop, connected via magnetic arms to trains traveling on existing tracks. So how does that help you even in the slightest? I mean, what what if you've got a working hyperloop? Why do you need it connected to a train? Right? Because fundamentally, you you the thing that's mostly going to limit you here is the air resistance on the train, which you're going to get no matter whether you're powering it by um, a maglev here, or I mean, you're going to turn this into a some maglev anyway. Why not just put the train inside or onto the maglev? Anyway, uh, the system would utilize current train tracks, thereby cutting it out, okay, that's fine. Currently says, eradicating the potential risks posed by propelling passengers in a vacuum. Okay, so no people go in the hyperloop, fine. Uh, there'd be no need for trains to use diesel or electric motors. Ah, uh ha. -huh. So, how is this going to be... Oh, she's not actually proposing this is like pneumatic tubes, is she? That they're actually going to pump gas in here because those are woefully inefficient. Anyway, um, uh, more importantly, Couchley, who aims to devise active solutions to climate... I mean, look, for the 13-year-old, I've got nothing but respect. You know, I mean, all right, she's putting herself... Uh, as she's entering into a science contest, no one at the age of 13 comes out with anything sensible, especially in some sort of young scientist's challenge thing. What I really have no sympathy at all for is CNN reporting this as may have designed a better solution for the Hyperloop. Right? So remember, right? if this, if this whole thing is going to be magnetically coupled right so it's going to be magnetically coupled through the tube what do they say this tubes were made of steel so any magnets are just going to hold this thing to the steel tube so you can't use steel because it's ferromagnetic you can't use aluminium because if you run aluminium through you know powerful magnets through an aluminium tube you just get loads of ring currents, which just act as drag. I mean, that's how Maglev works in the first place. And that means that you have to now make this tube out of glass or plastic or something. 
which might work when you're looking at something that is that sort of size, uh, but not for anything else. Anyway, um, yeah, submit ingenious solutions. I mean, I fully respect like people encouraging young people to think about these sorts of problems. But don't report it like this is some sort of new miracle. Oh, what's this? Related content. How long until a Hyperloop is here? Uh, huh. The year is 2030. You're in a sleek pod capsule that's now levitating inside a low-pressure steel tube that and accelerating across the country at speeds of more than... Oh, Jesus. And currently, I've actually been to that. That's the exact same Hyperloop tube in the Nevada desert, just outside Las Vegas. It's pitifully small, massively power hungry. No one, th this is just an empty five glass shell that rolls up and down a kilometer long track and you can only put it in and take it out from one end. And this is part of the Indian Hyperloop thing that has now raised the best part of half a billion dollars. Uh, do they have any of that here? Right, so my my reckoning is, I, I want you to put some money on the line here. Uh, who thinks that Hyperloop will end up becoming a bigger money sink than Theranos? So Theranos raised about, ooh, it was almost $10 billion in the end for a promise of this magical blood test where you gave someone a drop of your blood and it told you everything you needed to know about that person. Um, and none of it ever worked. And there are fairly simple reasons why none of it ever worked, you know, kind of like this. And this has already raised half a billion dollars. So will this, in the end, end up blowing more money than Theranos or burning more money? I see, there's one other thing that I wanted to point out. Uh, she got inspiration, did a lot of research on the design of the Hyperloop and the Maglev, and put uh, my design on paper in Autodesk Inventor. Now, I was kind of curious about that because I'm always sort of interested in software packages that people might be using. And, you know, if they're free, if they're useful, that sort of thing. Um, never heard of Autodesk Inventor. So, obviously, the first thing I do is I look up Autodesk Inventor and find out $2,000 per year. Um, and... Uh, let's see what sort of thing you can do with Autodesk Inventor. You need Autodesk yeah, Inventor Autodesk at the Inventor. heart of your job done fast. Interruptions yeah. are removed, okay. repetitive so tasks it's are eliminated, and the performance of Inventor sort of means your can. ideas come yeah, to life always. quickly. Yeah, uh, fairly impressive CAD designer. And, all right, she's 13. Right? She's 13. She must have some awesomely impressive... Oh, now that that in itself is fine. I've got no problem with a 13-year-old coming out with a design like that. I salute their effort. What I don't salute is a real journalist taking what is essentially a Mickey Mouse crayon drawing and reporting this as a better design of the Hyperloop. Anyway, so if you enjoyed that little rant... Yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Why not? And um, yeah, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to miss out on more uploads.